Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. I had a few questions in the last few days about Megalites and how to use them. So I thought, why not just put a video together to show you how to enable Megalites and how to use them and what's the performance impact, you know, how basically what does it really do? Because maybe people didn't quite understand from the Unreal presentation. So I've got the Unreal Engine 5.5 preview. I have a project that I'm going to show you and we're going to toy around with these lights and we're going to do some, you know, some really cool stuff. So yeah, let's um, have a look and uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you do, just leave a comment below and I'm sure to respond. Let's begin. All right, so what I've got in here is a scene called this uh, Tower of Ages environment, which is a really cool environment. And we're going to use this to showcase the Megalite system. So what we're going to do, since we're running Unreal Engine 5.5, we're going to have a look a little bit in terms of what's happening right now versus what can happen. So we have a post-process volume right here, and this is already set up at a, you know using an infinite extent, meaning that it's going to encompass the whole world, which is fine. That's what we need. Now, interestingly, Megalize can be controlled through the project settings, but also as with the post-process volume. If we go into the edit and project settings, you want to make sure the Megalites are available. So if we type in uh, Megalites, you'll notice in here where it says direct lighting, Megalites are currently off, but you can have a look and read this, in which, which will say that they can be overridden by the post-process volume. Thus, you don't really have to enable them here. However, you do need to make sure that you do have the hardware ray tracing enabled because otherwise they will not work. So if you scroll down to rendering and then have a look right here where it says Lumen, right about here it says use hardware ray tracing when available. Now, from what I understand, the Real Engine 5.5 will have this enabled by default. That's what I've uh, seen them, well, that's what I've heard them say in their presentations. But we have it enabled, this means that the mega lights can work. So now we're going to go inside this building because, bear in mind, mega lights do not work with anything else but the point and rectangular lights. It does not work with directional lights. So let's be clear on that. You will not be able to use this outside in the world as of yet. Right, so now we're just going to go in this uh, particular moody scene in here and it's quite dark. Let's now also enable our, our FPS. So we're currently getting about, you know, 14, 15 MS. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some rectangular lights. So we're just going to put one around here. And we're going to try and like, you know, play around a little bit. So that just so that we can get a few of these, you know, everywhere in the scene, just so we can really build it up a little bit and, you know, get some interesting shapes here and there. So I'm just going to put two lights like that. And as you notice, as I will you know, keep adding these lights, uh, my performance will start to take a little bit of a hit. So we're now almost at 20 MS. I'm just going to add one here. I'm going to add some more over here like that as well. And probably going to go up here. Maybe like that. Okay, just just so just so we can add some more lights in all these crevices in here as well. And now we can see a dip in performance to around 20 MS. Okay. So now it's time to select the post process. So we're just going to go all the way up here where we've got the post process. And I am going to be searching for Megalite. And I'm going to click this box to enable it. And all of a sudden you saw that our MS went from 20 to 14, 15 again. So back to what it was before we added all these lights, which is quite an interesting thing, isn't it? Now, some other things that I want to do, uh, let me just uh, select these rectangular lights because I do I don't like where they've been placed. So I'm just going to group them up into the light sections, which is up there in that folder, which means that now if I uh, untick this box, then the all the lights go off. Now you can see we're still sitting at around 14 MS with all the lights off in here. So if I click them back in with mega lights enabled, I am still maintaining the performance. I probably gained one MS from turning all these lights on. That is really the power of Megalite. Now, another thing that we can do, uh, we can push the quality level. So we're going to go into our global illumination and we have the global illumination quality here for Lumen, at which point I, you know, I can basically crank up all these numbers in here as well. And you'll see that we will definitely start seeing a little bit of a decrease in performance, but this is not going to be even, you know, it's probably going to be insubstantial. Um, so I'm just going to crank up everything like that. 
um, again, there are more things that we could do to further decrease our performance. So now you can see we've gone to around 17 to 18 ms. But what happens if we actually turn off megalites? So if I click this button, megalites are now off and we're up to 23, 24 ms. So performance is really degraded. We turn it back on. You'll notice that there are some scene changes here and there. So with it off and with it on. Now I'm going to try and find some uh, some area here where it might showcase it. So you can see right there with megalites off, it's uh, sorry on. It's doing this approximation, I think, a little bit better. The light is bouncing better in here. If you turn it on, you just get a sort of a hard shadow from this uh, beam from from this wooden beam right here. So let me just you see that you see what I mean now. Is Megalites calculating it better? I don't really know. It's an interesting sort of take because we are, we do have a beam right there and you can see it, right? So one of the, one of the challenges here is that when you uh, sort of like enable it, so if we go back in here and we enable it, you see how it creates this beam right here? In, in effect, I think it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's working better or not, visually speaking. I mean, I, I genuinely think it's okay, but I just don't know if it's better or not. But performance-wise, it's clearly very special. So it's very clear to me that performance does improve, and I'm not using, you know, the thousands of lights that they were saying that they were using, but that doesn't mean that I couldn't. So I could select the, this entire library of lights over here, and I could just now, you know, multiply it right and you can see our ms has kind of stayed the same and i can add some more um so i wouldn't really say that this is you know right now 17 18 so we're adding so many lights and we now gone to like 20 and the scene has just become so bright okay so i don't think i think this is really really good i think it functions very well um as well so let me just go back uh performance wise as i said i don't think we're degrading that much uh, when we add more lights but if i would have uh, actually let me just go back to to that uh can i go back no it doesn't seem to allow me to do it i, I was gonna i was gonna basically test it out if i if i add all these lights so let's just do that again um if i you know add and add and add some more and maybe even more but with all these lights added on if i now go into the post process volume and let's say disable megalites, what does it, what does it really do? So it's 17, 18 MS and now it's 32, 33. So effectively an unplayable scene uh, by all standards. You can see it's dipping even into like 60 MS, which basically means less than 20 frames per second. Uh, so with megalites enabled, we are getting almost 60 FPS. Now bear in mind, this is running on a 4090 as well, uh, this particular computer. Let me just take all these lights off because I do want to show you one last thing, one one you know interesting thing. I'm just gonna go up here onto the this balcony level, uh, right here because I wanted to show you this. Okay, so uh, I've got a, a nice Cloud Forge video for you guys. I'm just gonna press play on the, on the video and look at that. Uh, mega lights. Well, actually, it's more like Lumen. It's not it's not to do with mega lights necessarily we can actually play this video here and it's just like in the demo that they did because you can see all that light bleeding out from the screen which is really cool so i thought just showing you this uh it's an interesting thing how the performance is around 20 ms right now i i would say um you know it's playing a video which is a 4k video so i'm guessing that's why not really sure but the important bit here is that it's running exactly like in that demo you know you can do this exactly like in there so that's pretty cool and then you know you can see the cloud forge in all of its glory within the editor as well of how it plays out um and you know you can see right there on the floor how sort of like the the, the bleed of the light you know just kind of affects the environment which is really really cool i mean check that out that's pretty damn nice right i really love it so yeah that was really what i wanted to say on the mega light thing i hope you guys enjoyed it to be honest I well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know if you have any questions about it or if you want me to delve deeper into something, into a subject around Megalites or around Lumen in general. I'm quite keen on, uh, you know, 
delving in and, and finding the answer to the questions that's really burning inside. And also, um, if you guys need help with setting up a media texture inside Unreal Engine 5 like I have here, then let me know and I will get back to you with a tutorial to show you how to do it. It's quite easy actually, but it is an interesting and satisfa satisfying sort of process once you get the hang of it. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.